Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for another iRacing video and today it's with a heavy heart we're uh, gonna say goodbye to a car I reckon this is a farewell race for the street stocks so I've run this car quite a while since I started on iRacing back in February and um, run this car quite a lot used it to get all the way through from the rookie oval all the way up to getting my C license and that was always the goal with this I wanted to get to my C license so that I could run some sort of proper cars if you like some trucks uh, some indie cars stuff like that um, and we've done that we've done that this season we've got the C license um, and I think I think it's actually about to promote to B license next week in week 13. So it's time to say goodbye to this car. This is going to be the last race in this one. Uh, we've qualified pretty decent in uh, towards the front of the grid there. In practice, just before this race, I was quite slow off the pace. I was sort of down in the teens um, in a grid of 20. Um, but I've qualified towards the front there. So yeah, let's see how we get on. Let's jump on in and uh, fingers crossed for a, a good final race here. All right, we're here at Langley in the street stop. Street, street, my lord, street stop. <laughs> uh, might be a bit of a farewell race for me here. Well, it is a bit of a farewell race. You know, uh, gonna run the trucks I think next season. So, last race in the street stock here. Fingers crossed, we're gonna have a good one. Qualified all right, P6. Right at the front of the carnage, rather than being right in the middle of the carnage. Okay, alright, 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 coming Get around to the green then. We'll go straight away. Here we go then, 60 laps at Langley. Not been at this track for absolutely ages. I think the last time was in a, a rookie series, to be honest. I think we picked up a decent result. I think it was Carnage from what I remember, though. Which doesn't narrow it down for uh, rookie street stocks. The uh, five car behind sticking his nose in early. I give it to him, to be fair. Don't want to start burning my tyres up too early. It's going to be a long race. Got a decent gap behind us. Let's get him out of the way. There's bound to be cautions on such a uh, short track like this, I'd have thought. Didn't actually check the stats, to be honest, to see uh, how the other races have been going, but... Like I say, it was Bedlam in the rookies, so... Standard of driving in this series hasn't been much better, to be honest, so... I'm sure there'll be yellows at some point. The yellow flag is out. And there we go. Single file. Pit road is closed right now. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. All right, lining back up for the restart then. Let's go, okay. Let's see if uh, us seven at the top can um, can pull away like we did before. It was sort of the leading seven pulled away, and there was about a second gap, I think it was, to uh, to eighth place behind us. So, it'd be nice if a similar okay, thing can happen green. again. Stay focused. Ace car is in. Green, green, green. Car outside. Decent restart. There's a couple of cars going pretty high and wide. Need to give them space. Gone three wide. Bit of a freight train going on on the outside. We're clear, thankfully. Well, we're still there for quite a long time. Oh, it's out again. That didn't take long. All right, starting to take shape again, ready for another restart. Everyone got pretty feisty on that last restart, going three wide straight away. Instant caution, so uh, let's see what people do this time around. The 12 car on the outside has tried to, to be inside of the back of the 7 through the entire caution lap, so he's feeling pretty feisty. Oh, that's all right. The car is off. Green, green, green. Decent restart for us. Both are just going to tuck into line. Clear high. Nice, we'll take that. Just tweak the brake bias ever so slightly uh, backwards. Trying to use the uh, 
uh, sort of the amount of tasks that the front wheels are having to do. Try and save them a little bit. Notice I'm cutting into the corners a lot tighter on entry than the guys in front of me. It's always that trouble when you start trying to try different lines in the race though. Things can start to come unstuck. Still really early on in the race, just need to log some laps. The guy in front bounces off the wall. in the wall in front of us. So, what? Second place I think it was. We've got another caution. One left to green. Line up on the inside. Alright, lining up again for another restart. I think this is third caution, so fourth restart including the uh, the initial rolling laps. Let's see what happens this time around. To go green, stay focused. The pace car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. Outside. Alright, yet outside. again. Drop into line nicely. Seven, I thought it was about to get hung out then, freight trained, but it dropped back in really nicely. Probably need to be quite aggressive then cutting down, but uh, no, no danger from me sort of thing. Just wonder how close it was to the, the tail of the car in front. We we're fighting that one on the way in. Definitely a little unstable. So it just falling away a little bit behind us, which is good. It's been quite aggressive so far through the race, even under yellow. Going in a bit deep into that corner. So we tick halfway by. The guys in front are just losing me a little bit, or I'm just dropping back from them. Got some good pace. I think we've got some guys up in the 1.8, 1.9 range in this split, so. Probably going to get left behind by them, to be honest. Top five position is not bad though, if we can hold on to it. I'm sure there's still yet to be yet to be cautions in this race though. Especially as the tyres start to die in this second half. Not really had that much green flag running so far. Tyres aren't really uh, been working that hard up until now. The longer the green flag run we get, the more they'll be working. Slow car Car well sideways coming out of one and two just then. Absolutely sideways on the uh, on the back straight. Lots of wall banging from these four in front of us here. Really pushing it right out to the limits. Got a decent gap to Jose behind us in the 12 car. Hopefully we'll be able to maintain that through the race. Not sure if he's just dropping back to save his tyres a little bit or if uh, if we're just doing them on pace. He's not exactly been conservative through the first half of the race, so I'd like to think that we're uh, dropping him on a little bit of pace and he's not just saving his stuff. 
but we've got another caution. So if it was saving, then we might be in trouble now. Here we go then, coming back around for a restart once more. Got just over 10 laps to go, about 15 laps to go at the line. 16 Keep laps ready. at the line. Going green. Well, people are going to start getting more and more feisty now. Pace car is off. Green flag, green flag. Leader's keeping his restarts nice and predictable. He's basically done the same thing every time. In that, as soon as the pace car peels off, he's gone for it. There's contact ahead. Don't know how we all survived that. Help. Alright, made it up to fourth then with that contact and the car getting uh, car getting freight trained on the outside there. Thank you very much. Liz coming out three and four. And behind's putting his nose in all sorts of places. It's working as a good distraction. Okay, keep it in my lines. I won't be surprised if there's still yet another yellow before the end here. Pretty feisty split that we're in. Dropping away from Ben a little bit, that's good. 12 laps to go. goes well high and wide. Does that open the door for us? It has a little bit. Are we there? Oh, it cuts across. That was a pretty much do or die move for him, I think. He was basically saying, I'll be turned, but I don't want to lose my position. Ah, shit. Sorry, man. Clear up top, car inside. to go. Ah, uh, I'm gonna get hung out now after that. They want you in single file. Pit Good road job, closed. Sorry for the touchback there, Adam. I was just in too hot, man. Short track racing, man. You're all good. Alright, maintained our fifth through all that carnage. It's going to be a very, very, very short restart. Alright, hopefully the final restart then. I hope we finish on the green last bit. Be awesome, yeah, wasn't it? Get ready, going green. Hopefully the leader does exactly what he's been doing so far. I'd quite like to get this position back from the number one car. Sort of let off the gas after a contact with the two. One was wise to it. Turning down on us, we're on his door. Or he's on our door. Got the inside though, in fact we're clear straight off the bat. Oh for goodness sake. Oh my god, really guys? Come on. Two more, let's go. Uh, I think I just turned Adam at the end there as well. I don't know if we get a green and white checkers on this. I don't think we do. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Yeah, looks like we're gonna finish under yellow and I just killed Adam. That is not nice. Alright, and as we come around then, that is going to be all she wrote. Farewell to the street stocks and the dreadful standard of racing we've had this season. Didn't really put myself in glory with that final corner just then, but checked up a lot harder than I was expecting just then. So farewell to the street stocks. We'll go drive some proper cars next season, I reckon. Well, I've got some good news. I didn't kill Adam.
or I don't think I did anyway. I checked the replay, I was really sort of not upset, but I was, you know, a bit downtrodden about the contact there at the end that had spun him round and into the pits at that. Um, but yeah, I checked the replay and on his onboard, um, there's no correction sort of as we make that little bit of contact. He'd started to lose the car all by himself, it started to slide round. Um, and although we did get that little zero X contact there, I don't actually think that was the difference between him spinning and not spinning. I think he was going round anyway. So feel a little bit of relief about that, that I didn't just completely ruin his race and, uh, and kill him at the end there. Obviously, we did get the zero X there, so there was a little bit of contact, but I don't think that was the difference um, in the end of his race. I think he was going round anyway. So at least I can feel a little bit of relief about that and uh, we can take our P3 with a little bit more um, happiness and uh, a bit more safe in the knowledge that it was kind of fairly earned, if you like. But yeah, a P3 in our final race in this car, that's, um, that's kind of bang I wanted to go out with with this vehicle. Ready for next season now. Um, some trucks, the Indy cars. Um, like I said, we're going to get our B license, I think, so some maybe some Xfinity as well. Uh, and maybe some Arca. I mentioned about running the test series for the limit of adhesion in the Arca, so we've got that in the Arsenal. Maybe if we're feeling frisky one day, we'll throw those uh, crazy, crazy cars around the track. But that's going to be everything for today. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. really helps the channel out. And consider subscribing if you're new here and you've not done that already. But other than that, take it easy and look after yourselves. And I'll catch you in the next one.